every distant galaxy was racing away from us. And the farther away it was, the faster it retreated. The narrator pauses for dramatic effect. Though few knew it at the time, a Belgian priest and physicist named Georges Lemaitre had actually beaten Hubble to this conclusion by two years. Lemaitre realized that if you could run this cosmic expansion backward, like rewinding a movie, you'd eventually reach a moment when everything was compressed into what he called a primeval atom. He had discovered the Big Bang before it even had that name. Music fades to an unsettling, questioning tone. And so we arrive at our modern creation story. 13. Eight billion years ago, the universe burst into existence, expanded, cooled, and eventually gave birth to stars, galaxies, planets, and us. But this well-worn tale, elegant as it is, leaves us with haunting questions that gnaw at the foundations of everything we think we know. Why did the Big Bang happen? What caused it? And perhaps most unsettling of all what came before it. What set the cosmic stage for this ultimate beginning? Silence. Then a whisper. These questions would soon lead us to discoveries even more mind-bending than the Big Bang itself. Discoveries that suggest our universe's true story had barely begun to be told.